Here is the Ryobi 50 amp hour electric lawnmower. This is how it comes. It comes in this little metal crate, plastic bag over it. They just deliver it right off the truck, roll it up to the wherever you would like it outside. And uh, this is it. So you'll take the plastic bag off and uh, get to work on it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll lay out everything that comes with it so we can get a look at it. Completely unbagged. All the extra boxes, straps, and everything I had to cut off. A lot of zip ties and things of that nature over there. The front end is very easy to pick up. So you can pick that up and get a box out from under there that was there. I'm leaving it in the crate frame just in case. I'm going to put it together, air up the tires correctly, start it and stuff. Make sure it works correctly or at least starts. And then I'll back it off. You can't take it off the front unless you have a ramp because it could damage the deck. But if you back it off it's enough clearance for this all the way up to get over the back so the preferred method is the back way and they put it they know that i guess because they put it in here like this so this is what you get to assemble the steering column shaft thingamadoo the parts for that plastic covering for the steering column steering wheel the charger right there some keys and some stickers a manual and then that's the mulcher mulching blade cover for the deck and then the parts to assemble it are included so that the tools i mean are included and that's it so oh and then the seat but the bolts are already in there it's just two bolts uh you'll connect this cable up which is pretty convenient to get to because the future maintenance you can lift the seat Pull this cover up and disconnect this. You'll want to disconnect this even when you change the blades or do anything so you don't possibly get electrocuted. But there's also another cord that connects to the bottom of the seat in there, and that's for whenever you fall off the seat or jump off, the blade will disengage. So I'm going to put all this stuff together and we'll take a look at it again. All right, so this is everything put together. It's kind of a beastie looking thing, it's pretty nice. So let me air up the tires, back this thing out. And we'll comb over some stuff in the garage because it's going to be dark. Finally ready to take this beast off the crate. Uh, 20 PSI front and back. The back were actually okay in the front were low. We got them aired up. It is dark because I had to go in and watch the kids while the wife ran some errands. But uh, hey, we're right here. Let's get on this puppy. I will say this before I forget. Your Yeti coaster or whatever doesn't fit in the cup holder they needed to make that a little bigger in my opinion and uh, parking brake lever down there um, nice bar here and uh, here's a little we'll get closer in depth here in a little bit no spot for your phone a no place to charge it just bare bones which is great it's automatically on you just don't hear it not used to that. Okay. So I'll release the parking brake. Do that, pushing that. There's a little red lever in the floor in the middle. Push that in. And lower it with the other foot. It's a little cramped. The seat's all the way back. I'm about 5'11", but it's borderline. If you're any taller than that, it might be an issue to get in and out, so keep that in mind. But <laughs> I'm worried this when I hit the rail because you're supposed to take everything down. But uh... yeah.
it's got a what is it? Regenerative breaking? Degenerative? Regenerative? Regenerative, I think it is. Breaking to where you let off the gas, it's supposedly gonna add some juice back in there, but it's not really. Um light button. Uh turn on the the blades. See what that sounds like? Ready? I don't know. It'll let me. It won't let me. Will it let me? Do it? It'll mow in reverse. You just have to push this button. It'll glow red. And uh, if it's not on, you go backwards, the blade will just shut off. And you'll have to pull it again, but it won't completely kill uh, the motor or anything. I'm kind of excited about it. It's nice to have not an engine, it's just nice and quiet. Just make sure to plug it in after you, your first initial play with. Get in, you'll get a little blinky light right there. This toe plate here is a little deceiving. Like it's not that thick of a gauge. It just has a lip that comes down. It's still a pretty thin gauge. I was under the impression from the photos that that was a solid piece, but it's not. It's a pretty thin gauge. It's about the same gauge as the deck. So hopefully that'll be okay. I don't have anything that should I shouldn't abuse this at all. To the left, you have the brake. You push it all the way in, then push that red P in the middle. And that's the parking brake, gas, reverse. That's separate. Uh, the battery's real low on this, so I don't know how it starts off once it's fully charged. I'll know that tomorrow. But uh, it just like, there's no easy start. Like it just kind of thumps and goes. So that's one negative right now, because. I may not want, I may just want to ease, you know, forward, but this, you just, it's like you're pushing, you're pushing, and it just bumps you real hard and takes off, so that's the only downside I'm seeing right now, but it could be because the battery was like at a 0.5%, and about the batteries, this is a lead acid battery, it's not lithium, and it can be good and bad, um, that's the price point, that's the only way you're going to get an electric mower right now for this cheap is with that and about the pricing i wish they'd quit playing the yo-yo game where it's like 400 bucks off here and there through the year on these things or something i kind of wish it would be 17.99 for the 50 amp hour uh 200 more for the 75 and 200 more above that for the 100 amp hour and just leave it alone never put it on sale that's a good price point that'll sell because it's like for the longest life when uh, the Cub Cadet Lithium is like a thousand more than that one, so it's going to sell. And I, if they knock $400 off all the time, I wonder how much it costs them to manufacture this. And how much are they making? After every single mow, you'll have to plug this thing in. It goes through deep cycle charges and maintenance. So uh, you have to leave this plugged in all the time. And I'm pretty sure that's different with Lithium. So that's a downside to this because I've uh, heard people say, well, I can get two mows out of this before I have to charge it. Actually, you kind of want to leave it plugged in all the time so you can stretch out those batteries. And you can actually get about eight years or so on average with this battery. It's 2,000 uh, cycles uh, for these batteries for this mower. So a typical yard, somebody figured it up. I read online, eight to 10 years, he guesstimated on these batteries. So it's not bad for... A little bit of a price hike if you can catch it at its bottom dollar over a gas one so I'm satisfied with it and also changing the blades you got to take the deck off or raise up the front but I'm gonna try to utilize this bar here and pick up the front because it, I can pick it up pretty easy it's almost 500 pounds I think 400 something pounds so pretty heavy and the uh, largest one of these models here is like 600 something pounds so the batteries adds a lot of weight but it's back here in the back so I could pick it up on the front by the handle in the middle, no problem, uh, pivot that back. And I may put a block of wood here on each side so I don't bend this because this does protrude out a little bit past the wheel, not far, but a little bit. So I may put some wood here and here for that to pivot on and not bend that toe plate. 
and then the top part rests on this bar to give me access to the uh, deck so I can swap out the mulching blades that come with it for the bagger blades and that box is uh, the bagger for this and it goes into this hole into this section here and then you have your two bags here and typical bagger but uh, we're gonna go in the super detail review on this thing uh, at the end of the mowing season probably in the fall so stay tuned subscribe for that and um, this is just a quick introduction sorry I'm having to do it this way uh, I had to unload it tonight and this is the only way you're gonna get to see it so make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that on so you get notified when this guy drops hot see ya Thank you.